welcome back to my channel guys uh, currently we are going to church and I didn't have breakfast so I'm just having yogurt but we're gonna talk about last night's embarrassing defeat against the new, uh, Buffalo Sabres it was our home opener and I, I gotta say you know um, we had a good second period I thought the first period was poor but like we have they, they took a two two goal lead we had a good pushback in the second. We should have scored a couple goals. Pod Colson should have scored. Kuzmenko should have scored. Not a very good of chances. But in the third, there was absolutely nothing. There was absolutely nothing. It was it was so embarrassing that the last three minutes we gave up, which I can understand. But then they let in was it two or or one one goal and it ended five one. And then course as as you, as you guys saw there was debris there was jerseys thrown on the ice and it reminded me of uh, that Pittsburgh game where Travis Green was still the head coach and and I think it was there was uh, there was a jersey that was thrown, thrown on the ice everyone was complaining but that kind of turned our season around that's when Bruce got into uh, I mean Travis got fired Bruce got hired but right now, Bruce is a, a little under pressure. But I think it's more on the top players. I think a lot of people agree. I saw on Twitter, I saw on Instagram, top players are not performing. JT Miller looks awful on the defensive end. Quinn Hughes was not there. Pullman and uh, Riley Stillman, of course, he's not like super good, but like, you know, he was our top 6D for the past five games. And what I, what, hmm, what, I, what I think needs to change is the top players have to step up. Pedersen should have three assists, easily. He was setting guys up, he set up Kuzmenko, he set up Pet, uh, Pod Colson, he set up, and he set up like a bunch of guys. They couldn't finish. Uh, Hoglanders back in the HL, I'm not sure what reason that's for. Um, we really miss Hughes on the back end, especially on the power play, because power play looked awful. That needs to change. And just, yeah, it was, it was embarrassing. It was flat out, there was no effort. And, and the camera angles look weird too at Rogers Arena. But like I said, I want to judge this team after 10 games. Right now it's not looking good, obviously. It's 0-4-2. I don't want people want to say six straight losses, but we still have two points from the two overtime losses. And that could have usually been turned around. Pedersen hit the, hit the crossbar against, um, I think it was Columbus. And then, and then we had a chance against uh, Minnesota too. Um, but a lot of missed nets. Um, and yeah, um, after 10 games, I said if we go 4-4-2, four, four, and two, then I'll take it. That means we have to win the next four games. And I, it's possible. It, we're, we're in a homestand now, and it's a mentality thing. This team can do a lot, and I, I don't think we need to blow it up like the people say. Yeah, obviously the, the defense still needs a right-hand defenseman, but I think it's only missing one piece. And Travis Serva, when he comes back, I think the defense will be solid. Rathbone still looks very, 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 um, he's a liability on the, on the defensive end, but on the offensive end, he, he has a bag. Um, I wouldn't say Quinn Hughes level, but he's he's got a lot of good moves. And he, can, he can skate, he can move the puck, and um, I won't be surprised if he can add a few points this season. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Canucks fans, are you guys concerned? Well, I'm sure you guys are concerned, but do you think we can turn the season around? I, I definitely think we can. I think Miller needs to step up. Um, first of all, he took a pay cut. You know, he could have got more on a different team or even with us. But he needs to step up. It's eight, eight million, seven years. If we can see at least, you know, maybe half, even like half of what, what he showed last year, in the next five years, that'll be that'll definitely be worth it. It's def this is definitely not Louis Erickson. Louis Erickson and JT Miller, you can't compare those two. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, how we'll finish the season? How we'll continue the trajectory? Do you think Bruce will be fired or or what needs to change? But yeah, that those are my thoughts. And yeah, um, go Canucks go. Next game, I, I believe is tomorrow. Fantasy hockey for me is looking really good this week. So. Happy about that. Happy Garland scored. And yeah, that's going to be about it for this video. Go Canucks go. God bless. Peace.